Today's mission, create an Eddie's World themed warrior and give him a unique weapon that incorporates the Eddie's World logo. To accomplish this task would not be easy, but not for the usual reasons. I wouldn't have an incredibly difficult paint job to deal with or multiple duplicates to reproduce. It was the creative process itself that would consume my time. How do I use the Eddie's World logo as a weapon? How do I turn this into a weapon? Welcome back to Eddie's World. We got a lot to do today. And at the end of the video, I want to thoroughly test out our new warrior, something we don't usually do. So let's get to work. The first thing I had to do was crack open Mr. Split's punching arm because I wanted to see what exactly made this thing work. I'm also going to be using glitch blade. So as usual, the first thing we always do is pop off his weapons and cut off his head. And for this project, I'm going to be using this Lego astronaut helmet that I found in our Lego bin. But I didn't like some parts of it. So the parts that I didn't like, I'm going to cut off and I'm going to reshape it using bundle. And when you're using bundle, guys, don't worry about putting too much of it on because there's no such thing. You can always sand it off. I just gloop it right on there and whatever I don't want, I sand right off. But always be sure to wear a dust mask or a respirator. And next I'm going to drill out the Lego head so that it fits nicely on the Kato man's neck. And here I am vacuuming up all the dust, keeping a nice workspace and oh man. Okay, next we needed to twist off Mr. Split's arm and it's really easy to do. No saw needed. All these extra parts I'm going to throw into our parts jar and I am surprised that this is all we've managed to get in there by now. And this is the first time I'm able to sand the shaft like that and it's really convenient and a lot easier than with his fist on. And next we're going to cut off the shaft and we're going to just rotate it a little bit so that he can be clutching the globe like our logo shows. And once we cut off Glitchblade's arm, we can put his new arm on. And as you can see there, it's looking good. Just try to imagine his fist open, holding that marble, which will represent the earth. So in order to do that, I just had to cut off his thumb and fingers and glue it on in the open position. And in order to fill all those little gaps in his hand underneath the globe, I'm just going to mix up some bundle and slap it on his palm. And while the bundle is still wet, I'm going to depress the marble into his palm and it is going to fill all those gaps. And you're going to see here in a second, it turns out really nice guys. But in order for this to work, I need to really let this bundle dry good. So I'm going to take it out into the sun. I think I'm also going to take my dog out into the sun because she's looking a little cold sitting with me here in the garage come on girl let's go outside and I'll just let it sit out here for a good half an hour and now that it's all dry I'm gently spinning the marble and it comes right off and check that out guys how perfect did that come out and now I can glue his arm on at the right position, I make sure that it's hitting that giant's button perfectly. And we're ready for paint, guys. And this paint job is really simple. I'm just spray painting this whole figure white because every picture that I've seen of an astronaut, they are all white for some reason. And 
I'm using my hair dryer in between coats just to speed the process up. And let's make sure that marble doesn't accidentally fly out by super gluing it down. And check that out, it looks really good. I'm just gonna paint all the continents on here with a little bit of green, a little bit of brown, and I'm gonna throw some clouds back over the continents. I'm also gonna add two water slide decals and the sheer size of these things made it so difficult, but I managed to get them on. His left shoulder has the NASA logo and his right shoulder is gonna have the American flag. I'm still practicing with these things, but they are showing a lot of promise and I wanna do a lot more with these decals in the future. So there is our figure. All I have left to do is put his visor on and it is well dry by now. I put about three coats of spray paint chrome on it and it looks really good. I'm so excited to get this thing on and see what it looks like, guys. And that looks really good. I love it. And this guy weighs so much because of that marble. If he's not on a controller, he will tip over. And I'll show you right here what I'm talking about. It's kind of funny. This guy will not stand up on his own. He's so top heavy and that marble just drags him down but i'm really excited to test him out because he looks really good that marble is going to create a lot of power and it looks awesome guys so let's try him out right now against madam furball and here we go guys ready fight split strike and that was quick No one can last too long with this guy. It's so fun to play him because have you ever used a fighter that you could just not get a split strike with? Well, that doesn't happen with this guy. He is so much fun to play. And in the custom tournament, I think he's definitely gonna do well. If you guys like this video, then please consider subscribing, drop us a like, and leave us a comment down below. Ask us any question you have. Tell us what you wanna see us make. And we will see you in the next video.